Hello everybody, welcome back. Minecraft Living Large is making a return. This is going to be a regular series again. My name is Sam. Welcome back. Oh, I miss this world and I miss this game. Now the beautiful thing about Minecraft is if there's something you don't like, you can always change it. And that's what I love. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to change things up, mix things up a bit. Finally in Minecraft 1.6.2. There we go. We got a lot of the same mods installed. We'll talk about that soon. For now, I just want to make some of these. Some long fall boots. Go with my portal gun. There we go. Oh, it does give armor too. That's excellent. As you can see, we've made lots of changes today. As I said before, if this is Minecraft, if there's something you don't like, you can change it. There's mods and resources and packs for that and everything. So what I did here is I went into, I used something called World Edit, which is a bucket plugin, and just deleted everything. So it's technically wasn't done in survival, but I mean, hey, if this is cheating, I'm kind of doing it wrong because it destroyed all that stuff. World still intact though. This is basically my fresh start. I was tempted to do a fresh start for real, but I didn't want to lose my world, so this is my compromise. I wasn't really happy with how it was going so in a little while i'll show you a little bit cl a clip of my launcher window not my launcher window but you know, my main window just to show you a little mod list this is why i wanted the long fall boots because this has become my favorite form of travel uh, this is so much fun <laughs> you can't do this when you have half slabs on the floor Oh, can we line this up? Can we do this? Can we make it go? Oh, if you get the right speed going, you can get a loop going where you just constantly fall in the same spot. Oh, but I keep stopping and losing momentum at the top. I had, at one point I had it where I was constantly falling in a spot somewhere, I think it was over here. But you have to get the right momentum going and it's not working for me right now. But I'm loving the long fall. So as I pointed out on those signs, I don't know if you were watching that or just listening to me, but we do have some game rules changed, as well as some mods installed. Less mods than I had before. Not because they're not compatible or because they're not updated, just because I feel like I was going too much with that. Anyway, so two game rules to make the game a little bit harder and two to make it easier. So whenever we take, we take damage, we won't heal without a potion. We don't heal from full hunger. And fire tick is on to burn everything faster, but we keep our inventory when we die. So basically, I'm not afraid of death now. Yeah, which is excellent. And I still have my colors here from that language pack. So we got a custom language pack to get these colors in. We got a custom texture pack. Hopefully you notice this. Now this, this is a vanilla Minecraft, except that it's not really. I made my own custom texture pack to revert only these four textures back to what they used to be. Now lapis, I don't really care about too much. It's not something I really use. I mean, I'm, I usually just trade it away or use it for dye, but the gravel, for a long time, from when it first came out, I hated it, and then I got used to it. But I forgot how much I missed that. And this is not a dispenser. I'm sorry. And same thing with cocoa beans. It's just like, I don't particularly care, but the old one was better, I think. But, yeah. So I have that made. Only the four blocks. Not the old cobblestone texture. That's not something I really played with. I didn't play when the cobble was that texture back in beta from Alpha to Beta 1.6, I think. So 1.7 was when I started. Anyway, this just look, makes me so happy. <laughs> Everything about this world makes me so happy. For so long, it was just stressed out, and I had builder's block. But anyway, this is supposed to be just a short little update video. Video. I also have one little prototype here to show you my plan. So my plan is to build a cargo system for my track. So I, I want to trade with my villagers here and my villagers on the island. And I want to start making tr tree farms and wheat farms again. 
bigger ones, one that, that I can use all the time. As you can see, I planted some trees over there. But yes, I want something to ferry my items around. So this is what we have here. So basically, you put items in here, and then when it goes over the track, it dumps it out, and then you can drive it away. So you can, with this idea, you can basically make transport systems. So if I have a wheat farm over here, I harvest 200 wheat, send it off without having to lug it around in my bag. And it's going to be awesome. So the next video, we'll get to that. Actually, let me just save and quit right now. We can keep you with us for that. Do this all in one take. We can go to mods right here. As you can see, only a handful of mods. I thought I'd save this to the end and do the fun portal stuff first. So, opt fine, of course. So, I have my backpack still because I like having that little bit of extra storage. But you have to sacrifice a chest plate. So, it's not, it's not free. And that's what I'm going for. The whole, one of my main focuses on this world is that if all my mods are taken out, I want the world to function just fine, you know, so no crazy redstone machines, no fancy blocks, you know, if you took all the mods out of this world, the world itself would be fine. I mean, I'd lose my portal gun, but you know, that's okay. This we're going to talk about next. This is fantastic. Yeah. But anyway, let's get back to the game. Okay, so we've talked about, or at least briefly used, all the mods that I have installed. He's not, see, not very many. I mean, I don't have my, a lot of the mods installed, like that, the bag of air that made me fly. That was kind of silly. But this mod, this item searching mod, this is fabulous. You know, it's like, I never would have thought that I had a stick over here. Like, it makes sense to have them over here. This is the, where the wood belongs. That's fine. Wait, is that? Is that not in here? It's in red. Maybe in red it means something else. No, no, there's a stick there. Just one. And then there's one in here. Is there one in here? There has to be. Yep. Oh man, so many sticks. Of course, we still have our very fabulous, this is one of my other favorite mods, this chest transporter. I use this so much. I just can't live without this one. That's what I was thinking about. I was updating to 162 and I was like, well, what mods can't I, can I not live without? Because at first I had 20 or 30 installed and I recorded a little video about it and we talked and I deleted it. That was, it was terrible and there's too much going on. So, but something like this, I can't live without. Cause say, I actually did this in my other recording that I did. But say this is full, right? You want to swap that out for another chest? You can just pick it up, put it down over here. You know, grab your other chest, plop it in. Magic, magical. Love it. I can't live without it. Like this one here is full as it is. Well, we should move that over. Let's actually let's put it up here. That's where all these come, have come from. Just something to save me time so that I don't have to break it and mess with it and mess mess with items. Oh good, it's nighttime. I can I can play with some mobs while we chat. As soon as they uh as soon as they spawn. Yeah, so mods to make my crafting easier, mods to let let me carry more items, portal gun just for fun. And you know, Minecraft is a game. If you're not having fun with it, why are you playing? It annoys me when people say how, oh, why do you play with mods? It's not legit. That's cheating. When it's all about having fun, right? Now, what I want to do is put something up here, maybe, and then I can just have them fall through and say, "Ha, ah, you're dead." And go, "Ha, ha, ha, ha!" Take that. <laughs> half flood, half flood floors are great. They do keep the mob population down, and that's fantastic. But. I'm like right there. I don't want to fix a creeper blast in my dirt. I don't want to have to see that big giant hole the creeper blew out and have to go and find some dirt and fix it. It's a waste of time, but that's not fun. <laughs> and I don't enjoy it. And I can always do that on a server that I play on. Or on, you know, any other hardcore series that I might start. Or other modded series or Feed the Beast or whatever. But this, this is where I have fun. This is my world. You can't do stuff like this in multiplayer or in other mod packs. 
Oh yeah. That's my other project. Aside from my my rail transport system and my uh my big to-do list over here. Those blocks I have fenced off are the silverfish blocks that I found. So we're real silver fish in a stone, not in a stronghold. That's fantastic. See stuff like this, like I have random, random stuff all over my world that's just been left there randomly and it's like, oh, that's from when I took down my farm. So that actually makes sense. But like if I was looking for an extra sticky fish and there were some slime balls, I would never think to look in here. I'd walk right by it and go to my storage room you know, and grab it. So what I really want in the long term is an item sort system. That's where you can put everything in one chest and you have mine cars that run around and sort it into where it belongs. We talked about that briefly under the road. We still have that there. But what I think I'm going to start to do is move my storage room down there as well. So basically move all those chests down here and everything down there to eventually make room for the sorting room. Now what downside of this is that we can't walk very fast with these being carried, but hey, it's okay. You know what? We can do this. I mean, it's not super effective and I might die if I do it wrong. So just don't shoot the portal that's under you. So like, oh, I see. And sometimes you lose momentum. That's terrible. So maybe this is a good time to stop. Maybe I just have lag because there's so many mobs around because I lit up all my caves. Yeah, I'm so gonna die. I am so gonna die. Can I put these here? Oh, I still have more. I still have more. I still have more. That's okay. But like I said, it's all good fun. And all, all in good fun. This is all about having the fun. But that item search, I was blown away when I saw that. I knew instantly. I was like, if I don't put in any other mods. I have to get that item search. Like if I wanted to tame a cat and I was like, where are my fish? Do I have any even? Oh, you got some fish right here and right here. Two chests with fish in them. Like you never would have thought to look there. Okay, I'm going in circles now. I should go. This is just a quick update video to let you know I'm back. And the world has changed, and we're gonna be more fun, have a lot more fun, and be a lot more productive. <laughs> do some crazy shenanigans now that I can do whatever I want. Now that you know, if I want to just go over there, I'm just gonna go over there because I feel like it. You know what? I want to climb up on my golem, on my mob system, or my golem farm. I can do it. I don't want to not use my portal gun because. I'm afraid of dying. I don't want to not go to the nether or not fight mobs because I'm scared of dying and losing my stuff. Because I waste my time. <laughs> okay. Feels like every single video I, tr I try to justify the mods that I use. But I don't know. It gives me something to talk about. And <laughs> I like talking about. I like wasting my time talking about things that don't waste my time. That doesn't even make sense. Anyway, let's just do a quick check over here. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. So I, I keep turning it into iron blocks. Now I have another one of these to put over here. So what happened was when I, I first I loaded this up in vanilla Minecraft because I wanted to check out the world without any mods, and I lost some of the modded items in it. Some of them I remade, other ones I just gave up on. But, but that was good. It helped me decide really what mods I actually want to have installed. Even without you guys accountable, I want to have an informed decision of because I had, I think I had 20 or 30 mods installed that I never even used. Like I had, I had thrown. I was gonna use um, computer craft. I had a crystal wing in there. I had so much stuff. I just never used. And what's the point, right? So I showed you the full list. We have full disclosure. We got all our game rules set up. Our mods, our texture packs, everything's out there. So we'll see you hopefully tomorrow or the next day. Wait, did this melt? Oh, that one melted. Damn. Yeah, we had a little, we had a little accident down here. Uh, as I said, in the in the episode I deleted that was had terrible audio and everything, I was going to come in here and start blowing out with TNT. I was going to blow out some space for, you know, a new project. But 
It blew up some of the ice and I was drowning and I just lock it in with cobble and it will fix all that. Anyway, I'd like my backpack. It's fantastic. <laughs> See you again next time.